Oh, na na. What's my name? It's Asia Serena. Hey. 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 Bonjour. Bonsoir. I don't know any other French words. Uh, merci beaucoup for coming to my channel and to watch me feel terribly in French. I'm very excited because I created this Rihanna inspired Vogue Paris cover look just for you. Well, not for you, for me, because I saw it and I liked it. But I love this look because, for one, it was very classic and timeless, as you see. Um, I wore my little striped shirt so I could look very French, but I feel like I look like a just a fancy mime right now. But, um, one, I want you to watch this makeup look using all Fenty Beauty, except for a little, you know, supplementary uh, makeup brands here and there. And I also made this veil that you see and this bow that you see all by me. So there's a tutorial as well in this video. So if you want to see it, continue to watch. And also, while you're here, just please hit the like button and hit the subscribe button so you can see more into this makeup look first i'm gonna go in with my fancy beauty pro filter found not foundation then uh pro filter soft matte primer first let me talk about how rihanna just killed the makeup game with fancy beauty especially the pro filter foundation and I say this because I have not found a foundation that matches my skin better than this. Favorite foundation so far. And I love the formula. It's not very heavy and cakey. And every time I wear it, people are like, your skin looks amazing. You look like you're airbrushed. So I do love it. So I can't wait until Rihanna comes out with a color corrector. Mm, I'm very interested to see what that's like. So I just bought this Master Camo correcting pen. And I'm clicking it, clicking it, clicking it. Nothing's coming out. Nothing. Ah, there we go. Mm. Mm. Maybelline? Okay, Maybelline. This ain't too bad. Okay, now that I'm looking at it, I really like this Master Caramel. And I love that it's peach. It's not too bright. I'm gonna go into one of my mini match sticks, matte skin sticks, and um, go into my latte for my highlight and concealer and um, truffle for my contour. I think truffle is such a pretty. I always do them crooked, but not even. I'm tired. But whatever. Um, I think it's such a pretty color. Such a pretty corn floor color. Do you see that? Okay, I keep looking back at Rihanna's Vogue cover. Um, just to make sure I'm doing it right. I'm doing just a little subtle. No condor, nothing, nothing dramatic. Her eyes. So on the lid, it looks like she has a matte color in the crease and then something a little shimmery but a neutral color. Um, I would have loved to use caramel in the matchsticks but i didn't pick that one up because it was kind of dark for my skin so 
there's always a workaround. Um, so for the eyeshadow, I'm not going to be using Fenty Beauty. I know I said full face. I try. I try. I had to get up. And I went to pick up my Morphe. Which one is this? The 35R palette. And but if I gotta open it, beautiful. I'm going with this color. <laughs> which one was it? Okay. We're gonna go in with this color right here. I don't know what the name of it is because I threw away the plastic. So I'm gonna put that in the Ooh, that was darker than I thought. That's all right. I'm just gonna bring you out later. I'm gonna bring out. Let me do a little dark. I don't know what I expected. Let me do a re reference. Okay, it's not too bad. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Okay, so she has like a metallic, almost like a liner, unless her skin is just that popping and glowing. This color right here because it's close to skin tone. Just got a nice shimmer, nice shim shim shimmer. Okay, so this one is very subtle. Okay, so the color I put on the lid is this color here. I'm good. I love this lip gloss, but I'm gonna put it on my eyelids because her lids, they look like a little, just a nice sheen, a natural sheen. And we know that that Fenty, uh, what color is this? Fenty Glow? Rihanna, she has the Fenty Glow. We know that. It's like just a little bit on the back of my hand. Starstruck. Another matchstick. And I'm gonna put it all down my knees. I'm gonna put in highlights here. I love to use a stippling brush for a highlight because it makes it very natural for me. So I'm also gonna put a little pop 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 here. Yeah, doesn't have much of it, but I'll put it. My lovely, lovely NYX Precision Brow Pencil. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Mm. So comb the eyebrows because they are quite thick and curly and unruly. Okay. Comb them. Brush them. So I have weird growing eyebrows. This one is higher in the front. Or overall, I mean, my face is just crooked, probably. Go in and I fill them. And I cannot wait till Rihanna puts out some eyebrow products. Because her eyebrows always look great. And what I like about this look for the cover, that they were very natural and bushy and combed out. So, my eyebrows won't look too much out of place. My eye lure wax, which needs to be sharpened, and the pencil sharpener is over there, but I get up. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to Brush them to the stick. I love 90% of Maybelline's mascara. And 90% of Maybelline's product, which I haven't used everything, obviously, but Maybelline is just a fantastic brand. I love it. So, I'm going to use the Great Lash in Blackest Noir. Black is black. Sorry, it's in French too. I always thought that was the name of it. Black is no, no, it's black is black. Anyways, see, this is how I know I have a hooded eye. I only put gloss on my eyelid 
and so since i've been looking up and down and everything i have gloss all up here so that means my eyelid my eyes are hooded no that's what they mean right and i always was like oh i don't know if they're hooded i don't know i don't know i don't know they're definitely hooded they're definitely hooded it's a little hood it's not a big big hood but it's substantial. It's enough. It's, a, it's noticeable to me, to me at least. I think the last piece for this natural look is mm, the Fenty Beauty Stunner Lip Paint in Uncensored. Okay, it's a little separated. Let me shake it up. Block my lip. Okay. And it's very liquidy. I love the formula, but um, you gotta be very careful when putting it on. It's like nail polish. All right. So I'm gonna start at the bottom. I should have lined it, but I didn't. And speaking of liners, when is Rie going to come out with some lip liners? She's probably going to do that next. Watch. Um, every holiday, she's probably going to put something out. Because when Stunna Lip Paint came out on Thanksgiving, I mean Black Friday, I went <laughs> I went to JCPenney like, all right, I'm about to run into Sephora at JCPenney. I'm going to get it. I'm going to be out. Boom. They open that. To in and out when I got in that parking lot at the mall the parking lot not even the, par the parking lot was packed but people were just lined up wrapped around the building I was like nope and so I went home and ordered her I always like to go in and blend my foundation, my foundation, my contour, my highlight, so that everything is kind of seamless and natural, natural. Let me do a Riri reference. This is the picture. I'll put it on the screen. That'd probably be better. Okay, so. Oh, I look like a sexy mime. <laughs> oh, okay. Bam, hat check. Look like a French militant. Okay. It's my bow clip that I made. Put that here. Oh, oh. Here's Kayo. Okay, and now uh, for my veil. Let's um, let see. She has it right above her nose. Uh, this look is everything right now. Mmm. Mmm. Before we go on, there, there's an issue, and um, I just need to address it and talk with you. Did you hear? Can you just hit just hit the subscribe button? Just hit it and hit that like button too if you like it. I mean, I I hope you like it, but just press it, and so we can move on. Thank you. And you got me like what you want from me? What you want from me? And try.